morning guys, Taco Cat here. Welcome to my channel. I just wanted to uh, elaborate on my last video on how to carry a full size 1911 or any full size uh, service uh, handgun. And before you guys go out and buy the latest and greatest $100 you know, ratcheting core extreme EDC belt, um, I just wanted to share what's kind of worked for me before you shell out some more money because with carrying uh, pistols and your EDC gear, there's a lot of trial and error and hopefully this can help you um, give some uh, insight. So what am I carrying today? What do you think I'm carrying? So today I'm carrying a Glock 19 Gen 5 with a Hollow Sun 507 uh, red dot sight with an extra mag, appendix carry of course. And on top of that, I have my my SE Kangaroo little little utility knife that I like to carry. Um, it's working great for me so far. Plus, I have a bunch of other stuff in my pockets, which won't go over as another topic for another video because we're talking about the belt. So. I just have a simple 511 uh, Rigger's belt. It was like 30 bucks at Cabela's, I think. Uh, this one has a you know, double layer, so it has a tan FDE uh, layer on top and on the back. It has a, a black uh, backing, so it's two layers. It's pretty flexible from what you can see. And I know a lot of uh, gun gurus say, oh, that's too flexible. Now it's not going to support the waiver belt. Oh, wave, wave your uh, your firearm, or your knife, or whatever. Um, I find that uh, a stiffer belt, um, especially when it's ratcheting and it's like compressing your uh, your torso, is it's it's very uncomfortable. Some belts even they even have a, a a steel band going all the way around the length of the belt, so it feels like you're wearing a hula hoop. Which I can see the purpose for if you're doing like three gun competition or what have you, but even those guys, they don't wear those belts for you know every day when you're going to church or whatever, you know, taking the family out. Um, that's not what you want to wear. Um, this one has just right amount, good amount of flex. I mean, it's comfortable for me to for me to bend over, I don't know, twist when I when I'm at work, and on top of that, I have like in my last video, uh, suspenders. Uh, I'm not gonna take my shirt off for this, but these are trucker, what they call trucker style uh, suspenders. So instead of the, having the suspenders clipped in the front, and that get that will get in my way of my uh, my Penx carry uh, rig, they go on the sides. Um, elaborate on that, like in my last video, just real quick. These are standard uh, standard uh, suspenders, the Y Y backing, not the trucker style, but these have the hooks that go over over the belt and I find that um, very uh, comfortable for me. So rather than the belt taking the full weight, you have the spenders kind of like lifting it off your hips. Um, I know that for a lot of guys who are more, let's say full figured, um, they don't have um, that shape to like hold the belt up by itself. And even for me, cause I'm so skinny, I, I'm, I'm like a, I'm just straight. So for me to have full weight on this belt, I would have to like tighten it like really, really hard. And that's the problem um, without the suspenders or if, I'm, if I were to use a, you know, a really, really stiff steel reinforced belt, gun belt. Cause you know, I was talking to my physical therapist about this. Um, he said that I don't have a sore or bad back because of carrying a gun. I have a sore back from doing hard labor. I'm a tree trimmer by trade. So he said that if you have your uh, belt so tight that it's like restricting movement. So it's like now you're like you are bending, flexing, twisting in spots that are not really designed to flex in that way, especially repeated multiple times a day over a week, months, years. And that's what's going to destroy your spine. So um, I find with this setup, you know, I can still 
no, full have full range of motion, bend back, uh, lean forward. I can still you know, work with tools and everything uh, just fine. Uh, even when I'm carrying you know, my 1911, like in my last video, or in this case today, just for kicks and giggles, you know, Glock 19 with a you know, full setup and a knife and what have you. So I hope this helps. Uh, let me know in the comments like what you use for your belt. If you have had good luck with the uh, the ratcheting uh, EDC belts that cost a hundred bucks or whatever, um, hopefully you know you can use what you have already. It's a simple, you know, comfortable riggers belt or leather belt, and just reinforce that with uh, suspenders, and hopefully that'll give you some more options, more leeway of what kind of gun you can carry. You're not just limited to two little three eighties little pocket pistols just for you no know, weight savings. Um, I find that with this system you can carry almost any gun you want. Um, I haven't tried carrying a you know a Colt Python or just a e Eagle, mind you, but um, for just practical EDC purposes, um, I find this really really helps. And I hope this I hope this helps you guys out too, especially you know everyone's different body shape, size figure, hip size, whatever. So I don't think, um, not to hate on the other gun guys, but those other gun guys, they, all I do is shoot. That's like their main bread and butter. Um, very guys like me, I have to work for a living too. So I have to like make accommodations uh, for, uh, to my gear. So I can't just think about my gun all the time as much as I want to. So let me know how it works out for you. and. Uh, Thanks for watching.